Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Assassin's Creed 3. Gonna do the next mission. This little ground we have gained. The sacrifices your brothers have made today must not have been in vain. Now go! Bring the fight to our enemy! Make them rule the day they marched upon us! Yamas. Why not? Take advantage of it. <laughs> Alright, this one's called. Oh. Connor, my friend, you have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and arrest. I am left to pick up the pieces. I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. Ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape.
will take care of this! Alright, I wasn't sure what I needed to do to prevent the executions, but now I know. Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the loss would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Wow. I guess that's the end of another uh, sequence. Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. 
Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this, just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. And has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end, to see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world, ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source, leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want, for us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. Might be I'm risking my life, risking all our lives to save an asshole. What else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. father on the upper level. Same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This was a bad idea. All right. Wow. Uh -huh. I have no idea what to expect, so bear with me. There will probably be some fail. weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. I like how the doctor's just walking around. my father. <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. There we go. Took a few moments to figure out what I could and couldn't climb. Need eyes on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? Excuse me, boys. I need up. Nice job, dude. Jack can be anywhere, Desmond. Sorry, but I just don't know where. 
where he is. Apparently you're invulnerable. That's okay. I do. Oops. Apparently you're invulnerable when you're uh Desmond. I thought that was an arrow pointing away. Come on. Come on, boys. Somebody get it started? And that was just a disarm followed up by a uh, attack. I'm picking the wrong way to go. Deja vu. Give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century, and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? Stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Dinya is too stuck, Robota. Yet. Get out! What the hell was that? Again? At least now I have Phoenix a office is up ahead. You you killed Desmond, to save it from itself. 
Big's kind of a pain in the butt. Dad? Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Wait! No! You never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. I didn't see what it did, it said for R2. Ridiculous. <laughs> I was trying to fight back and it wouldn't let me because all the buttons were uh, the apple. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Alright, that's it for this part. Thank you all for watching. Um, it's kind of drug on a little bit, but that's okay. It's not as long as some of my other videos. Uh, Next video, I'm going to talk to everyone and, well, probably first I'm going to hook up the power supply, then I'm going to talk to everybody, and then the part after that I will be getting back into the Animus. So if you want to skip to that part, I suggest that you jump to part 40, uh, no, that would be 50. This is 48. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later.